Welcome to type with me. In this video, we'll see the differences between subjects. We'll see subject, behavior subject, reply subject, and an async subject. So imagine we have something like this. We have subject, then we emit something like that. Then we do a subscribe. Then again, we send out a message and we send out another one. So, of course, I'm gonna duplicate it here so we can subscribe to it another time. And here I'm going to say sub1 and here I'm going to say sub2, right? So, great. So, after our last subscribe, I just want to add another one, the last one. It's very important to see the difference between all these different subjects that we have, some um, events that are emitted, and also when you subscribe to that subject. That's also very important. So let's build this. And now we can do new dot. And you will see that we have something you will catch, another one, and then a last one. And of course, here we have the dot subscribe with the last one. So it's very important for a normal subject that when you subscribe, you will get the messages, right? Great. So the first special uh, subject is the behavior subject. And of course, a behavior subject needs to have a value. So we will add value, first value. When we now build this, we execute it. You will see that when you subscribe, you get the previous message, right? So here you see something you will miss, something you will catch, another one, then we have another one of this subscribe, so he picks the previous one, right, and then the last one. So, for example, if we just put this into comment, and then we do a build, And then we do node dot. You will see that he uh, will print out the first value. Right. So that's the behavior subject. You will always have it will always have value. So that's why we need to provide a value here. Another one is the reply subject. With the reply subject, you need to see how many uh, messages he needs to reply when you do a subscribe. So, for example, we pick here two. So we want to have the two last messages. 
So with the behavior subject, you have the last one. So you have one uh, value, but here with the reply subject, you can have more than that. So when we build this, clear out our terminal, and then we do a note dot. We have something you will miss something you will catch another one and then of course from the sub 2 we have something you will catch another one and then the last one so two previous ones are being uh, provided of that and you will see the order is correct because yeah last one we have the last one with sub 1 and then also with sub 2 right great so we covered already subject behavior subject and reply subject and these subjects store previous values with, uh, with behavior uh, subjects the last one and with uh, reply subject uh, we provide a number and then that number will be stored and also executed when you do a subscribe right so uh, the last subject that we need to discuss is the async subject. And the async subject doesn't store anything. It works a little bit different than reply and behavior subject. So let me show you what happens when we build this. Oh, it's a little bit weird, but nothing happens. So when we do subject dot complete, we say okay, we um, we emitted all our values that we need to emit, right? Then when we build this. You will see that he executes only the last one from both subscriptions. So and it's really only the last one. So when I do now build again. You will see only the last one. That's great, right? I can imagine that you really can come up with certain scenarios that you only need to have the last emitted value uh, somewhere and that you want to do something with that. And then you can use the async subject. Thank you for watching. Hope, hope to see you soon.